how would you assess uh, Kenny Hill throughout the summer? I know you wanted to see a lot of improvement in, out of him um, back in the spring. Where is he at right now? Well, you know, you, you know, I judge quarterbacks on Saturdays. Obviously, we went through a season where he was that was his first time. Um, you know, for me, I think I get to do a better job of helping with his swagger. I was pretty tough early, you know, doing things, and and I think hadn't been through that coach's style. So for me, uh, getting back into it, and we got to give him help. Obviously, we got to catch the ball better. We, had, you know, I think we're going to be better up front, offensive line wise. He only lost one wide receiver, so I think all those things benefit him. And then we got to put him in an offense too that I think it, that bends towards uh, his his strengths. And so, you know, we'll as we go forward, starting in the two a days, trying to do that with all of our quarterbacks to make sure that we that we put in an offense that fits us, and so we can do the things we need to do. And we've got to play a lot better defense to help him out. Um, we ended up, I think statistically somewhere around second in the conference. But to be honest with you, it was very average for us. Our standards are a lot higher football-wise, the way we want to play and how we want to do things. Uh, because the ultimate goal is to get in the playoffs, to win the Big 12 Conference. And, uh, and at the end of the year, we got beat up in the second half against a couple of teams. And, and we've, got to, we've got to be stronger. We've got to be more physical and more mentally tough. Uh, to be able, we've got to go on the road about six ball games this year, counting Fayetteville to go to Arkansas besides the league games. and so. Uh, We've got to, you know, I started talking to them in January about being road tested. Uh, when we've been good here, we've been able to play on the road, and, and we're going to have to do that again this year. I know uh, Kevontae Turpin missed uh, a lot of the spring with some academic issues. I was just wondering what his status is as of as He's of good now. right now, which is where, you know, all of them. You know, they all have to grow up. You know, one of the, one of the worst things that happens, I think, in this day and age is, is a, as a young player, as great as a freshman because I think it's really hard with the media and everything else for them to handle being invisible. Um, and so uh, one of the biggest problems we've had is when we've had great freshmen that have played early and, and got a lot of notoriety. It was up to me that, you know, obviously you need some of them to do that. Uh, and how do you get them back into where they get back in the right lane and doing the right things? And I think uh, Cavante is. I think he's doing the right things. Understanding what you have to do to be a college athlete and a college student. And, uh, you know, we're a lot better football team when he's on the field doing some of the things like a lot of our guys have been. So uh, right now I'm excited that he's back in purple and black. Gary, what are you guys uh, trying to do to improve on run defense this coming season after giving up more than, I believe it was the most you had given up since you became head coach? Last well, year? as I said before, we weren't happy with defense. <clears throat> uh, we went out and recruited four D tackles and three ends and, and get bigger. And a guy like Trayvon Boyk, you know, not Trayvon Boykin, but Trayvon Howard, um, here's a guy that basically went through uh, academic. He, you know, he had his appendix out. Him and you had guys that really didn't go through two a days, and he played had 138, 130 tackles in the Big 12 at 198 pounds. So now he can lift, he can run, he can do things. He's back up to 215, 217. Um, our whole football team. You get a Montrell Wilson back, and you have depth. One of the things, that, the reason why we were able to sign more guys, we were missing about four D linemen from a year ago. Uh, that would have helped us do some of the things, but guys that played, played. It's hard to play in this league and play with a consistent, your, your best players at the inside are 260, 270 pounds. So we went out and got four, uh, four guys that are in the 300 pound range. Now, you know, we'll find out, as I always tell people, they're paper tigers, can they, can they play at this level and they, can they play well at this level? So we, we tried to address the needs both at end and at tackle and at linebacker.